What exactly does this do? What exactly do you offer now, thanks to this acquisition? Well, we made a big announcement today that we're entering the $100 billion pay TV market. And, you know, there's a reason for it, which is we've been for five years now as the uncarrier tackling what we thought was the most hated industry in America, but it turns out to be the second most hated industry in America because cable TV is so, filled with companies that just have a history of abusing customers. Right. And Sorry we think to interrupt, there's some but, I mean, but so what is, here what, that we can what is this product exactly? I mean, as a consumer, what will I buy from T-Mobile and will this allow me to cut the cord with my cable provider? Well, um, we didn't announce a product today, but the short answer is, is yes. Um, you know, we're bringing T-Mobile to TV, and what we're basically doing is planning to bring together home TV and mobile TV. Because today, home TV lives on an island. It's, it's completely separated from the rest of your technology life, and those user interfaces are stuck in the 90s, that programming guide and everything coming at you in an untargeted way. It's no wonder that millennials are fleeing and Gen Zs are fleeing this marketplace, not because they don't love TV, we love TV, but because the way TV is delivered to you in your homes today just pales in comparison to the relevance of this Mike, social media fueled video that you get in the mobile world. I work for CNBC, which is run by NBC Universal, which do you know who owns NBC Universal? Of course he does. I do. <laughs> Who owns NBC Universal, A company Mike? whose uh, stock retreated a little bit today. Comcast, are you trying to put my parent company out of business? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I want people who love content to be able to find that content. And that's what this is all about. The issue today isn't really about there not being enough content out there. We're in a golden age of TV. The issue is about access to that content and discovery of it. So there's probably so tons of people be, out there that would love CNBC and we'll help them find it. Good. That, we like that. We like that. But what will be different between your ultimate product, I know you didn't announce one today, and what we have now? Give us, give us a vision on how it will look, how it will actually physically interface with this product. Well, two or three things. One is it certainly won't be um, based on an old style linear TV format with a programming guide and a D-pad remote control. And, you know, th that, that type of a model is just not what people are looking for. We're going to bring together the best of what the Internet has to offer. And digital media consumption, as you know, is growing incredibly rapidly. But also 250 plus channels of high definition cable TV. People don't want to, they don't care about where it comes from. They just want access to all the content and they want to be able to discover it in a way that that is targeted to them a d-pad and a channel guide is just it it's no wonder people aren't watching tv so, i have a 22 year old son and a 21 uh -huh. year old son they don't watch traditional tv because it can't capture their right. eyeballs the way a mobile phone and social media so, can so mike do you coexist with or you do you displace the likes of a uh, t's direct tv a netflix a hulu for instance I mean, what happens when you finally roll that product out? We'll coexist with OTT providers like Netflix, and we think the service should be a re total replacement for traditional cable and satellite TV. I mean, think about satellite. Every single one of those customers, if they have broadband, gets it from a different provider, just about. 40 million households today get their broadband from a different provider than their TV. We think we can replace that TV service with, with something far superior, and all it needs is an internet connection. Well, you have now, that to be internet a... con connection can come from T-Mobile and our 4G and eventually 5G capabilities. We're a major broadband company, but it could also come from Comcast or Charter or a DSL provider. Oh, you sort of answered my question then, Mike. So you're not going to have to be a T-Mobile customer to use the television product, but I assume you'll get some kind of a discount in pricing? Are you Bundling, for instance, bundling your phone service, right, with, uh, with internet must. service? Well, you know how the uncarrier rolls. We offer incredible values, but we sure won't be inspired by the bundles we've seen from companies like AT&T, who spent billions and billions of dollars buying DirecTV, a satellite dish company, and then only gives you their best deals on wireless if you drill a satellite dish into the side of your house. I mean, that's not an, an inspiring way to think about bundles. So, of course, we'll offer great value, but this is, this is about value, but it's also about experience. TV is being left behind, as I said, and that's why it's losing share. It's right. not because people don't love so, TV, and it's certainly not because they don't love those giant, gorgeous panels. It's sure. because what's being brought into your home is antiquated. So last quick question, Mike, and we're just about out, out of time here. Uh, you know, from the stock perspective, the stock is up on this deal, even though analysts say that there's little financial details and little product 
product details coming out of this announcement. The company stuck with its free cash flow target of 45 percent. Is that essentially saying that there is no impact immediately, at least, or for the next three years of this deal on T-Mobile's um, profitability, free cash flow? That we certainly see upside, but we intend okay. to make all of our investments in this TV capability within the guidance that we've given, 45 to 48 percent cash flow CAGRs over the next three years, starting in 2017. So and that, that's for an obvious reason. We have incredible assets to bring to bear to this, which have already been invested in. Things like our 16,000 retail stores, our 71 million customers, our nationwide network, which last month became the first one to hit 30 megabits per second in wireless. So we've got assets that are very different from other companies that have thought about this space. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.